Hey everyone, um, this is Kurisu, and tonight I am going to be playing some Spyro Reignited Trilogy as well as some Q&A for anyone who wants to participate. Um, in addition, I'm going to just switch screens here real fast. Um, once we have 15 people in chat, well, 15 viewers and anybody who participates in chat will have a chance to win one of the stickers I have shown here. Um, and I'll be selecting one winner tonight, um, assuming that we do reach that 15 viewer benchmark. Um, hey, welcome to chat, Sniper. How's it going? Uh, but yeah, we'll go ahead and switch back to gaming. And we'll go ahead and get started. There we are. Alright, so tonight we're going to be continuing Spyro Year of the Dragon. Right now we're at 52% completion and we are at Evening Lake. Oh no, you dropped your phone on your face. That sucks. My day's been alright so far. The adventure continues. <laughs> alright, so... We go ahead and get all of our gems first. What? No, I don't want to be here. Okay. Yeah, I'm not 100% certain, but I would say this is probably one of my favorite homeworlds in this game. Just because, like, I don't know, it feels like it's the most complex. What are you- oh, I see. I was wondering what, uh, Bentley was doing there, but we already finished his level. Yeah, uh, you're the first one here, Sniper, so congrats and welcome. Go ahead and get the gems over here. I don't think there's anything at the top, but it's always worth checking. Oh no, you're a good sniper. Um, it is still really early in the stream. Like I just started like five or six minutes ago, so it takes a little bit for everyone to get here, and that's fine. Thank you, Occultist. You're amazing. Um, so, a shout out to Optimistic Occultist for raiding. No, you drop your eggs. Huh. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. That's the right link. Um, so yeah, if anyone wants to follow Optimistic Occultist, that would be fantastic, just to show support for their channel. Hey, welcome to chat, Garahat. How are you? That's awesome, thank you. Yeah, so tonight we're playing some Spyro the Dragon. Um, Originally, I had hoped to be working on art tonight, but I didn't want to um, 
work on a project that wasn't commissioned because like I just wanted to sort of showcase somebody's project with their characters but we didn't get anyone to contact us today so that's fine Gear Hat was here the whole time oh my gosh oh no falling forever Well, that's fun. I didn't want to have to go underwater yet. That's okay, though. We'll just get back up here. Because usually, when I am collecting all the gems, I try to make it a point to get all of the stuff in a certain area first. Um, so, what in the world? So my hover isn't working again. Um because that just makes it easier for me to keep track. Uh, where were we? Yeah, so for whatever reason, um, this game is programmed really poorly, and a lot of times functions like that don't work all the time. Oh no! Yeah, Sparks gets a bubble. Um, it keeps him from drowning, I guess? I don't know. Keeps his wings from getting wet. I don't think they fly very well when their wings are wet. Yeah, I agree. Like, I really like the way that they sort of remastered all of the surface details. Um, because these games have a lot more environmental detail than the original games, as well as the character designs. Um, but I have kind of mixed feelings about some of the character designs, because like, I think that they've changed some things that they shouldn't have had to, or that they shouldn't have changed, I guess. Um, just because it doesn't really add anything to the characters. But then there's like other stuff that just kind of makes sense where they just added more detail. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I don't know if CPR would have helped a dragonfly or not. Um, I would say in that type of instance, the best course of action might have been trying to just dry it out. Like, um, I guess, like, put it on paper towels and something to sort of soak up all the water. Then again, like with the chlorine and everything, it's kind of hard to say really want to go behind here, but I know that's not an option. And then there's this. I don't think that this is what the anatomy of the inside of a whale looks like, but I'm not sure because I've never been in one. Is like they're just a random back wall and a tongue with teeth, right? <laughs> I 
I'm also confused about why... Close your mouth. I'm confused about why they put shorts on the whale. It doesn't add anything. It just doesn't make sense, I guess. This looks like something I can break. Yeah, I mean, I get that, but like I said, I, it's one of those things I just have mixed feelings about. Can I break this too? No. It looked like I might have been able to. Um, it's like, it just doesn't add to the game. They also made it a lot easier to get in that whale's mouth versus the original. Because, like, in this game, they actually have the whale stop so that you can get in there to get the egg. But in the original, you had to, like, ram into his mouth to get in there. At least, I was pretty sure that's how it had to happen. Because, like, before, I would, like, if I remember right, I'd try to, like, swim up to it and it would just, like, swim past me. So... Oh my gosh. Shuckle. It's confirmed that Shuckle's an assassin. Oh my gosh, Sniper. Yay, level complete. Let's see, so we already got Bentley's level taken care of. Do we want to do Frozen Altars? Um, Charmed Ridge? Or do we want to do a fireworks factory? So that was Frozen Altars, Charmed Ridge, or the Fireworks Factory. I want to skip Lost Fleet for now because there's stuff I have to go back for um, to finish that level. And I want to see like if I get all of it done first in this home world if I have to still do that. Oh my gosh, gear hat. So yeah, uh, which level do you guys want to see? So I'm going to go ahead and start with Frozen Altars. This one, if I remember right, is kind of a pain because there's a lot of gliding that isn't easy to deal with. Welcome to Frozen Altars, Spyro. On behalf of the Ice Fairies, I want to grant you a 
special power for as long as you stay in our world. Oh, thanks. Now I can give everything freezer burn. Because my... It's funny that that turns red like it's getting heated up, but it is ice. a laser defense system to protect us from Rhinox. But with these flippers, I can't even turn it on. You'd have no trouble using it, though. Just walk inside. When you're done, press the action button and you'll walk back out. Oh, thanks. Okay, I think that's all I can do with that. So yeah, how's everybody doing tonight? Haven't really done too much in the stream so far, but I hope you're all enjoying it. Awesome. Glad you're enjoying it, Sniper. Uh, does anybody have any questions for our Q&A tonight? I am happy to answer- oh no! Happy to answer anything within reason. Um, so when I say within reason, I just mean, um, I won't dox myself and I won't answer anything that is, like, exceedingly inappropriate. Still waking up? I understand. I don't know if my answer will align with air hats or not, but a cold shower sounds awful. Okay, I wasn't sure if I could land on this or not. I don't think I can get over there, though.
Yeah, I mean, because, like, I'm sure there are worse things than cold showers, but not very many. Trying to figure out how to get the egg that's over this way. I know there has to be a way to get there. Maybe I go around from the other side. I guess I'll figure it out later. treasure if you had something to stand on right huh that makes it easy I thought I had to use the elephant Yeah, uh, I guess he's frozen there for all time. Interesting. <laughs> uh, so that was one of the glitches, I guess, that this game is famous for. Um, yeah, the Reignited Trilogy is incredibly glitchy compared to some of the other Spyro games. Granted, like, the original trilogy definitely had its, um, quirks and glitches. Right? Oh no! Let's see if it does the same thing. Nope. to make sure that I don't have to use this to like jump up on anything, but it doesn't seem like it. Hey, how's it going, Lone Wolf? Welcome to chat. in here after I finish the other stuff. 
Oh no. Oh no. I thought there was like maybe something else I needed to melt or something, but I guess we are just um incinerating these tiny elephants. Can I use that for these two? No, it doesn't. Oh, maybe. The aiming on this is really awkward. I guess not. Oh no! Fell off the edge. Yeah, I'm not sure. What picture? doesn't work. Let's see, where else can we glide from? I don't think I can jump up on top of this. Am I able to get over here? Like, I know I can get here, but can I get to there from here? Probably not, but maybe it's worth a try, because it seems a little closer than where I was coming from before. Let's try this. Oops. I'm gonna try to run and jump. Okay, so that's plausible. We might be able to make it that way. Okay, yeah, we can go that way. Any gems back here? Nope. That is good. That's good that she's adjusting well. some trouble with a yeti let them yeti suit my bull i told him to give it back and you kick his lousy butt but he wouldn't listen who looks like it oh the puppy i'm like who looks like a cinnamon roll i knew you'd do it go and show him not to mess with us 
Remember to block his high punches and hit him low when he tries to block. Alright, so if I remember right, this is mostly just difficult. Oh no. Because the timing. Stop it. I agree. Bartholomew is such a bad influence. <laughs> it'll be a three round match, and when you win, don't let him send you off with a stupid egg. Oh my gosh. Only two more rounds to go. You're doing great. Oh yeah, it's a Yeti. Oh my gosh. Seriously? <laughs> So I saw that we got a skill point. I'm pretty sure that was because we won the match before the third round. So that's exciting. I agree. Eggs are like one of the best things. But you stopped him just in time. Alright, 
Let's talk to this guy and see what he wants. As you probably know, Frozen Altars is the birthplace of the great sport of cat hockey. Oh no. sold out, of course. But I just happen to have a spare ticket that I'll send you for, say, the teensy weensy markup. I wonder what this markup is. 800 gems to enter cat hockey? Head on in, Spyro. It should be a thrilling match. In fact, <laughs> I've even placed a little wager on the Rhinoc team. Let's just hope the local team doesn't have any last minute accidents. Hmm, shady. I challenged a Rhinoc to a traditional game of cat hockey, but I think I sprained my flipper while training. Would you mind taking my place? Great. Freeze the cats and push them into my goal to score. Wait, what? So I have to push them into my own goal? That's not how hockey works. Oh my gosh. Just need one more. You're not gonna go anywhere. No, you're going this way, cat. Well done. I think you deserve to keep the champion's cup. Did you know that you can actually make fire that is cold instead of being hot? Ah. I imagine it's probably using different gases other than oxygen. But I am not familiar with that. Oh, I know where the last gem is. How many are left? Maybe not. Okay, so that's probably the rest of them. Hopefully. Yay! That makes sense. Oh, Lone Wolf used my Hydrate Redeem. Uh, tonight I am drinking water. So uh, let's see if my avatar makes weird faces while I drink. Nope, it looks like I was staring off into space that time. Um, that portion of our stream was staying hydrated with Kurisu. <laughs> Yay, hydration. 
Yeah, that's really interesting, Sniper. So next, is this where that egg was? Yeah. Um, so next, I'm gonna find my way out of here. Just kidding. Oh, there it is. I think we're gonna go to the fireworks factory. <laughs> hey Iron, welcome to chat. How's it going? Yeah, you did miss the raid, but we're all still here and we're having a good time. Uh, tonight I am playing Spyro the Reignited Trilogy, and we are on Spyro Year of the Dragon. Uh, this is the Fireworks Factory, which is actually probably one of my favorite levels in this game. Just because, like, I really like the design of the level and, like, the color scheme and everything in addition to one of the mini-games to get the eggs. Oh, hello! It's good to see you again, Spyro! That naughty sorceress has stolen the professor's rocket plans, and I'm on a secret mission to find them. Handel was supposed to meet me here, but I can't find him anywhere. Maybe you could help. Um, but yeah, um... Don't know if I mentioned it or not, but I am also doing Q&A. If anyone has any questions, I am happy to answer anything within reason. Stop it. I don't think that those have gems in them. Oh my gosh, Foxtrot. Like, that sounds like something that should be familiar that isn't. Because, like, I grew up under a rock. <laughs> but that totally seems like it was probably, like, on a commercial or something they would have played, like, during the 90s. Yeah, I'd probably have to see the video, um, but that sounds interesting. I'm doing alright, thanks for asking. Oh no! I hate when it gets stuck in like that different view mode. Because like, it's supposed to do that when you- oh no! <laughs> when you hit triangle, but like... There are times when I hit triangle because I want to hover, but it just puts me in, like, this view instead. Because it's the same button, it makes sense, but... You know. Sometimes this game just isn't as intuitive as it should be. Oh yeah, you can send it if you want. Generally speaking, I am totally okay with people sending links in the Discord as long as um, they are appropriate. Like, um, 
I just don't really want anybody sharing anything awful that would, like, upset anybody. But I don't really see an issue with sharing the video that you described. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, you're good. Yeah, I just make that clarification because, um... That way anybody... Oh, where did you come from? Um... Just for anybody who's in the Discord. Um, speaking of which, if anybody wants to ever join my Discord server, you are welcome to send me a private message here on Twitch. And I'm happy to send an invite to anybody. Uh, the only reason I don't usually link in chat is just because that helps us keep bots from joining. Oh no, there's a gem down there and I'm gonna- there's more over there, I should probably just grab them. So it's always better to grab them while you can see them than afterwards when you have to figure out where they are. Okay, so now we'll go- oh, I have to actually go around. That's fun. It's not too far though, I think it's just up this ladder here and around the corner. Yeah. It looks like you'll have to use this cannon to get across here. Yeah. The last thing we want is bots in Discord. So it's silly to me that she can do that. But Spyro has to get launched across the chasm, even though he has wings. Like, what kind of logic is that? just kind of respawn. Oh, what? Well, that didn't work. Awesome. Huh, that is interesting. It makes sense though, like if it's cold I would think that it should be able to freeze things. That's probably what those fairies in uh, Frozen Altars gave me. Check on that later. No!
No, I understand. I've never really cared for math just because, like, there are just so many rules to have to remember, and, like, it's silly saying that because it's the same way with science, but, like, I don't know. Science is just more interesting, even though science and math both use a lot of the same sort of functions. Like, um, there are a lot of, like, equations and things that you use in science, but it's just more interesting. <laughs> Oh. Right. Oh no. That didn't work out. Well, I thought I would be able to ram that because there are times when you're able to just ram things that they're throwing at you, but not this time. Seriously. I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. I think I'm gonna try to get this Rhinoc here close- oh no! So they're both on alert now, and that is why it doesn't work. That makes sense. I think there are some rockets up this way, maybe? Oh no! We put those away. I was gonna say, I think if I blow that one up, it should get the other one too. But it didn't. That's a good way to put it. I was clearly in the reticle. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna run into this wall a few times. Ouch. Oh my gosh.
I don't know, it could go both ways. Um... I'm gonna grab these. Okay, hopefully it doesn't make me jump off the ledge after we get this. We get all the gems. Okay, it's saying the rest of them are in there, so I think we got everything in here. I don't have to take care of any of those enemies. Oh no. It's a good thing those eggs are durable. They must have been trying to put it into orbit. work on the professor's walk-in. Now we're going to backtrack a little bit. that I got the gem in this box, but I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah, I did. I don't think I can make it to that other ledge, so we'll go back. Oh my gosh. Um, I would recommend against eating the frog emote because it is actually just Kurisu wearing a frog costume. You'll have to use this combo power up to take out these fire dragons. It will allow you to super fly and super fling at the same time. Oh, do it. Nope. I will send them here with my phone. Yeah, because it's actually Kurisu wearing kind of like, oh, that frog. <laughs> I mean, you know, that frog is a little different. And the trick here with this one is uh, learning the pattern for the frogs, or er, the frogs, the dragons, and uh, not chasing them. Just kind of like going against their path. Getting them one at a time. Where did the purple dragon go? No, that one's red. The light is just weird. Wait, what? I guess we're gonna try to get the red dragon first. up out here. We'll 
go back over here. I think the thing that makes this the easiest is making sure that you stay sort of above ground and out of the tunnels because the more direct line of sight that you have to the dragons the easier it is to get all the pieces away. It's not working right now. <laughs> It also gets really tricky when they start to get shorter. Wait, is that one done? I think we got that one. Nope. Oh no! Can I just get that? And that. Okay, come back here. Where did the red dragon go? Probably over here. Oh no. And they also regenerate over time, so that makes it... No. Makes it a little more tricky. Okay, good. We got that one. So now, we're just going to get the purple dragon. Oh no! And the purple dragon is also going to get us. I'm gonna get this dragonfly. Or, <laughs> the dragonfly. Well, I guess that one, no, that one's a firefly. Lightning bug, whatever you wanna call it. Um, it has the butterfly on the inside.
Also, I apologize if I am not responding to chat. This one takes a little bit of focus. sure it went in the tunnel. Yeah, it did. Now it's just the head, so we should be able to hopefully get it real easy. Nope, it still has one more piece. There we go. I fished it out of the molten lava. Oh my gosh, what were you doing in the molten lava handle? <laughs> hey, welcome to chat, Pulse, and welcome to chat, Dreams, how's it going? Yeah, I still try to look at chat, though, just because, uh... I do like to try to stay engaged with everybody, because... I think that makes things more fun. I don't know. Plus, like, I enjoy interacting with everybody when I can. Oh my gosh. Well, you have a good night, Pulse. I hope you sleep well for work. gems down here. Guess not. <laughs> hey, bye. Have fun, Spire one. Okay, I will. Thank you. That reminds me of the one day I found this picture on another Facebook group. And it said, I'm spiraling out of control. <laughs> so I definitely had to share that and play Spyro that night. Totally worth it. I think this puts us at the end of the level, but I could be wrong. does. Alright, and then we'll have to go back to the fireworks factory later because there is a level there for Agent 9 to complete. <laughs> That's unfortunate. 
Hunter got caught and I need him to be somewhere else. <laughs> Let's see what other levels there are. So we'll go ahead and go to... You want to see Honey Speedway or Charmed Ridge? What do you all think? Oh my gosh, Sniper. <laughs> sniper always asks the most interesting questions. Would you rather have a cat that has a human face that can talk and make faces or a dog with hands that can write and do sign language but goes in your fridge at midnight to eat while you're sleeping? Um, so I... I answered this one earlier in a cultist stream, but I think I would rather have the dog with the human hands. Cause like, I don't know, I just, I feel like that's easier to process. Yeah, I agree. The cat with the human face, I think, is a little more off-putting. Makes me think of like, the medieval paintings of animals because a lot of them had human facial proportions because the painters didn't know what animals actually looked like. It was an interesting time for art. So yeah, what do you all think? Do we want to go to Charmed Ridge or Honey Speedway? Oh my gosh. I don't know, I think they can both be annoying at times, but that's kind of what makes them lovable. <laughs> I mean, it would probably be pretty shocking to see a dog with human hands, but I mean, at least the dog's face is a dog and you would recognize it as a dog. Like, if I saw a cat with a human face, I wouldn't know what to think of it or, like, what I was seeing. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and just go here in Honey Speedway and get this one out of the way because I don't really care for the flight levels. Like, because I don't dislike them, but they are a little bit more of a challenge sometimes. I'm gonna skip through that dialogue because I don't want to hear it. miss one of these? No, it's here. Alright. So now we can just go against this because it's so much easier to get all the boats when you're like going opposite of their direction because you don't have to try to catch up to them. Almost flew into the honey. Oh no. Now we're gonna go over here and get all the bees. As long as we don't miss any, I think we shouldn't have a problem. Yeah. 20 seconds left, and we only have two to get. Yay! We got it with like 
20 seconds to spare. Okay, so we'll go ahead and quit, and next we're going to do the race against the bumblebees. Imagine a cat with a face. With that face? Oh my gosh. Or the pock champ. Oh my gosh, your ridiculous dreams. If Sniper had to choose one, he would pick the cat. Oh my gosh. Um, I don't know. I don't think I could do a cat with the human use. <laughs> like, I don't even want to imagine that, honestly. I'm glad that those kind of, like, track. Also, if you can catch up to them, you can flame the bees as well. Oh no, I missed that. Thought I did anyway, I didn't. What? Like, I was clearly facing the bee here, and it decided to just shoot a rocket into space instead. Almost close enough, not quite. Ooh, this will help us out a bit. second place as long as we can see the first place be we should hopefully be able to catch up and win this race hopefully okay good that was targeting correctly Alright, we have to be almost finished with this lap. Oh no. <laughs> oh my gosh, Sniper. I think I would still feel better about the dog doing sign language than a cat with a human face speaking to me. Um, yeah. Because, like, even though I don't know sign language that well, like, I know the alphabet and, like, a handful of other things, that's something I would rather learn that to communicate to the dog with hands than, uh, than have a cat with a human face. That's too much. Right? I agree, dreams. Every day is an adventure, right? So we're gonna quit this, and next we're going to... Oh, Henry. 
What? <laughs> Blowing bubbles. So we're gonna go to time attack and we're going to find Hunter. I forget where he is, but there's something else we need to do in this level. Is he in here? Nope. I thought he was like on one of these ledges or something. Maybe over here? This tree? No. Well, Every stream is an adventure. I agree. You never know what you are going to, uh, what you're gonna walk into, metaphorically speaking. Because, like, it can literally turn into anything, and that is crazy. Gosh, where is Hunter? on the other side of this, maybe? Like, I really don't remember where he is in this level. Hunter got hunted. I hope not. But the sandwich has bread instead of meat? What? You mean like it has bread on like the middle part of the sandwich? Just three slices of bread? <laughs> that sounds really dry. Oh my gosh, like seriously, where is Hunter? Unless I have to, like, you know? Probably not sure. I don't think that I had to, like... Do anything crazy to get to him. I was pretty sure he was like in here or something, but I don't see him. It would be ridiculous to have to Google where he is. Is 
really don't know though. Sorry, this is being so uh, overly complicated. Okay, so as much- well, maybe he's on top of one of the trees. Maybe? Let's check the rest of them. Okay, it's not that one if he is, because we can't fly any higher. So I hate to do this, but give me just one moment. I am going to Google this and find out. Let's try this. So I'm gonna crash. Oh no. <laughs> Sorry about that. It said to the beehive directly behind me and look to the right. That would be right here, right? Unless I. Oh, the beehive ahead of me. Look to the right. Oh, uh, oh, that's right. We were looking all over for Hunter and he's in the cage. So, unfortunately, we will have to come back to this level as much as I hate having to do that. Well, I am glad then, because there's a reason I couldn't find him. Oh my gosh. So now we're going to go to Charmed Ridge. Urgently need your help. The evil cat wizards of Felinia have stormed our castle and captured our princess. If we don't stop them right away, they'll force her to marry Prince Azrael. Oh no. I love that that has a fist at the end of it. That's hilarious. Stop it. find a frog or whatever and there isn't one it's okay Hurry, Spyro. If we... 
hope that was a checkpoint. Guess we'll find out. Nope, it was not a checkpoint. Like, I literally just got rid of that guy. Why was he there? Oh my gosh. That was nonsense, but okay. Oh no. Oh. Yeah, that makes sense. Guess we're gonna pay to walk up the stairs. Yeah, that makes sense. Right? Yeah, money bags is like the worst part of all the Spyro games. He is ridiculous. Oh no. There's no time to lose. Prince Azrael and his cat armies are about to steal a poor princess. Yeah, there's a ladder there. So yeah, uh, what's everyone up to tonight? Anything interesting? to there from here. I guess this is probably... well... Oh no! Oh, seriously? I should have been able to jump onto that ledge. <laughs> hey, welcome to Chat Occultist. How's it going? Oh no! I hope nothing too serious. Oh my gosh. Oh, 
So I am just going to... Just kidding. I'm gonna just jump up here, take care of that cat. Jump over here. Yeah, that's understandable. Driving can be exhausting, especially if you're doing that all day. Isn't Prince Asriel just the dreamiest? The other fairies and wizards won't let us get married, so we're going to elope. By the way, Asriel says you can have this egg if you don't tell anyone where we went. Interesting. Glad to hear that, occultist. Well, glad to hear that my voice is calming, that is. Don't forget to stretch. Oh my gosh. Thank you. I usually don't, I'm not very good at remembering to stretch. These things are annoying. They just take you all the way back to the beginning of the level. Well, that didn't work out. Almost. Oh my gosh, that was uh, a bit dramatic. Kind of just rolled down the side of the cliff into the water, if you want to call it that, like, because Spyro can't swim in whatever that is. Oh no. I'm only going to try a couple more times. didn't work out. There has to be another way to get to that. But sometimes with the Spyro games, the uh, obvious route to get somewhere is not always the right one. 
And I think I might see where I'm supposed to go with that. But we'll see. Also, occultist, I apologize. I just realized that your message about stretching was for, um, dreams. Okay, where- oh yeah, this thing. if I can make it over there or not. If cats have an instinct to turn over to land on their feet, right? Um, yes and no. Like, well, I mean, I guess it probably is an instinct, but it's interesting because they use their tail, actually, um, to help balance them. Are you talking about stretching your hat? <laughs> it's a good time. Good day, Spyro. I'd like to stay and chat, but I'm late for a uh, <clears throat> an engagement with a fairy friend of mine. Oh, uh, yeah, Lone Wolf. I did like Dark's picture. It made my day. <laughs> Certainly not a violation of military protocol whatsoever. <laughs> but. What are you giving me that look for? Where have you been, James? We were oh my gosh, so many frogs. An hour ago. And don't give me that old matters of national security line again. I guess it doesn't matter though. The whole temple is full of nasty cat witches anyway. We just have to call off our date. That is, unless you want to battle the witches. Interesting. There's also a skill point if I break all the windows, so I'm gonna do that first. Launchers aren't just for show after all. Well, I just hope your accuracy is better than your punctuality, because there are still a lot more witches in the temple. That's good. You'd think that at least one of those would have hit. Well, I guess maybe I did get a couple of them. Oh no. I'm 
must admit, James, I am impressed. There are still a few witches left, though, and this time they mean business. They've even turned the floor into deadly blue ooze. Oh, so that's what the water was. Seriously, I just want to hit that frog. Okay, there we go. Why can I not hit this frog that's literally right there? There we go. Oh my gosh. jars are with the butterflies. go in here first I think according to legends there's a golden goose at the top of this here mountain I want to be the first person to the top so I can grab it those eyes look kind of creepy on a humanoid character <laughs> to sprout ultra super gross seeds from a bear with a bag of gems he said they were magic I can't make them do anything you can have a couple if you like
seriously. Oh my gosh. What? Oh, good. I found this egg on the way up here. I think it was laid by a golden goose. We'll have to keep going. We're almost to the top. <laughs> oh my gosh, sniper. I don't know, I might answer the door for cookies. What? Like, when I hit that, it should let me... Okay, so when I fell out of the sky just then, I should have hovered. That's the one thing I think I don't like about this remake. That the controls are like really stupid and glitchy. Because, like, it's a really enjoyable game to play still, but like every time I get to hear, like, it should just hover instead of like just falling to the ground, because that happens like. It seems like at least half the time I try to hover. And I am really glad that that actually worked that time. Gonna 
assume this one goes here. This works. No. <laughs> it might, though, if I actually do it right. That's interesting. I'm supposed to do. Oh no, I almost ran off the edge thinking it was over here. <laughs> jump over here and that should take us back to the checkpoint because uh, I'm not going down there to get that seed. Oh no! back to this one should be able to swap this one out as 
assuming that the game functions properly. Yeah, it's really silly when things are hard just because they're not working the right way. That should have been a hover. I don't know. I'm not really a huge fan of mushrooms. Oh no. Oh my gosh. really freaking stupid. It's like, when it comes to games, I don't usually try to complain unless it's stuff that shouldn't be happening. <laughs> like... The controls on this game are not difficult. There's no reason they shouldn't work 100% of the time instead of just when they feel like it. Yeah, mushrooms are really hit or miss. Mostly miss. We'll get us. Where's that? There it is. Be sure this should get us to the end of the level. Or at the end of this challenge, I guess. is a souvenir. Uh, mushroom in the gray. Do you mean gravy? Um, that has meat mixed up with the white rice. I don't know. That sounds like something I might try. But I'm not a huge fan of mushrooms, really. Double check, just make sure that there is no gems behind here. Oh, 
Interesting. No! Oh my gosh. What the heck? Oh my gosh. I can tell that I am starting to get a little bit tired. Oh, there's an egg over here. That's nice. Benjamin. trying to aim, not trying to do a head smash. There we go. Mushroom gravy. You know, I've never had mushroom gravy. It's just one of those things on my list, I guess, that I need to try. Oh no, that totally wasn't where I wanted to go. See you soon, occultist. Right, so we got all of our 
eggs. Now we just need to get the rest of the gems, and I think the rest of them should be in that jar at the end of the level. Or vase, or whatever you want to call it. There it is. Be able to see that from here. Yep. this way, but I think we have to go this way to get back. last should be at the beginning of the level, right over here. Against the wall. There it is. What? They're gonna take me, like, to the beginning, beginning of the level? How do I even get over there? And we're falling forever. Oh my gosh. Welcome to the Reignited Trilogy, everybody. <laughs> gonna stop falling? Or are we just stuck here? Or, oh, there we go. That's how we learn how to climb. <laughs> right? Yeah, it's uh, kind of ridiculous the glitches that this game has. And like I said before, I really enjoy this game, otherwise I wouldn't be playing it. But oh my gosh, these glitches. chips I'm sorry this happened but I tried to warn you I had to help Spyro rescue the eggs you just don't understand if we don't bring dragons back to this world soon all our magic will be lost right the dragons used to live here yes this was their original home but a long long time ago the sorceress banished them to the other side of the world she didn't realize the dragons were the source of all our magic. Maybe I could convince the dragons to come back. Uh, he pressed a button and kind of just fell into the cage. I'm sorry. I can't. Let's see. I 
think the last level we have here... Lost fleet, but I could be wrong. What's over here? Okay, we already did frozen altars. There's lost fleet. We just got back from Charmed Ridge and Honey Speedway. Got the fireworks factory. We did Bentley's level. So I think that is all of them except for Lost Fleet, so I guess we're not going to be able to do that before, um, before Hunter gets back. Because there's another area in this level where Hunter has to be out of the cage. You be careful around these parts, little dragon. There be more ghosts in this here shipyard than I can shake my pick at. How did Hunter get caught? Uh, yeah. He, he definitely is, like... Yeah, Hunter does some strange things. And I think I'm actually probably just going to kind of like get what gems I can. Like. The ones that I see that are obvious, but I'm probably gonna just rush through this level since we have to come back anyway. too high for me to hit it. Seems like it. Oh, I see. from this thing that blew up. I'm pretty sure I did. Nope, I did not. Oh my gosh. You know, it's funny because, like, I've never.
never really had crab before. I don't know what it tastes like. Well, that was lucky. That's probably the only time a glitch worked in my favor because I kind of just did a backflip off the <laughs> front of that um, cannon and uh, was able to glide afterwards. had shrimp but I've only ever really had breaded shrimp so <laughs> it's mostly just the flavor of the breading and not as much shrimp so I don't like I I know it has like kind of a fishy taste but not really like I said I'm gonna go ahead and come back to this level cuz uh, there's no point in finishing just yet because we still have to rescue Hunter. I think this is ready to go. shrimp texture if you made it softer, less cartilage levels of chewy. Okay. That sounds like okay, but not great. That's it! I've had enough! I'm going to create a monster to end all monsters! <laughs> and I'm going to send it out to destroy all Oh my gosh, thank you for following. Uh, do you go by yes. NLG yes. Realm? It will smash them and crush them and grind them uh, do you go by them. NLG? Oh, yes. Smear them and smush them and crack them and crease them! Let me out of here, you! Hey, welcome to but, chat! Uh, won't that kill them? Um, so tonight we are playing the Spiral Reignited Trilogy. Um, what? All this time right now we are close to getting to the last homeworld, uh, but we'll have to backtrack a little bit. Wait a second. Call you Neo. Okay. A spell? What did you think I was going to do with all those dragons? Open a zoo? I had my blaster, you'd be singing a different tune! You know what I mean? You said just keeping them in our world was enough. You never said you had to kill them. I don't have to kill them. It just stops them from wriggling so much. You're terrible. I can't believe I ever listened to you. Stupid, insolent brat. I'll take care of her as soon as I finish off that dragon. Now, where was I? Yeah. Ah, yes. I don't know. I might try crab eventually, but I don't know. Yeah, that seems convenient. monster to destroy every iota of her opposition, beginning with the two of us. Alas, there is no time for ruminating. Yeah, I'm definitely. I will endeavor to assist you by means of a steady provision of combustible projectiles. Oh, 
Oh, crabs. <laughs> Interesting. I expected those to be crabs. There's some more crabs. Not that that's a good, oh my gosh, what was, what was that? That was not a crab. Interesting. All right, so after we get to Midnight Mountain, I'm going to go ahead and go back to Yeah, I don't remember what it looked like in the original for whatever reason. Like, it's been so long since I've played the original. And I think... I don't know, I think I maybe only fought that boss once. Wait a minute. Why should I trust you? This could be another trap. You're in a cage, you furry numbskull. How can I trap you by letting you out? I don't know. You sorceress types can be sneaky. <sighs> I never thought we were going to hurt the dragons. Come on, we don't have time for this. <laughs> and crab doesn't really sound very good. All right, so we're gonna go back to Evening Lake. Yeah. It doesn't seem like it would be. Like, usually anything in a can isn't really that good. Uh, gross. So, once we get back, I think I'm gonna call it a night, but um, next time we will continue in Lost Fleet. Let's see, which levels do we need to finish still? So we'll continue in Lost Fleet, Fireworks Factory, and Hunting Speedway since Hunter is back. Oh no, we have to go back to um, Evening er, uh, Midnight Mountain to get Agent 9 for the fireworks factory, but we'll do that next time. Um, it tastes like you're eating powdered shell with crab meat. Ew. Gross. Um, but yeah. Does anybody have another streamer they want me to raid? Um, if not, I will just pick somebody at random. Let's see what- oh. It's always fun to see what it does when I alt tab, because it doesn't usually keep Spyro playing the way it's supposed to. 
Um. So, do you all want to watch Dead by Daylight? Um. Art or Apex Legends? What do you all think? Harry Bean Things is on. Yeah, we can uh, raid her. So I'll go ahead and get that set up. Raid. Harry Bean Things. Hopefully I... Um, we did not end up having 15 viewers that I saw, so unfortunately I won't be giving a sticker away tonight, um, but maybe next time. Just because last time I made an exception as well, but I, I think we can, can do it next time, maybe. Alright, so let me just make sure I have this spelled correctly. A R I B E A N T H I N G S. Alright, so we got our raid ready. Well, that's weird, it didn't work. There we go. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and raid Airy Bean Things. Um, once we get to her channel, please do me a favor and refresh your browser. Um, that way it makes sure that your views are counting towards her average, in addition to following if you want to show support. Alright, thanks for watching everyone. Have a great night!